Hey guys, this is me again, Jen, and welcome aboard to my channel. And yes, I'm back for another video. And for today's vlog, we are taking you to Ilocos, guys, and we will share our itinerary and our expenses just in case you wanted to visit Ilocos. So if you are interested, then just keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video, just, just like this one. So if you are ready, let's begin. After 8 hours drive guys, finally nandito na kami sa Ilocos Norte But we will register first because we came here as tourists Bard hmm? Yung kanina mong pa tinatanong, alam mo kung ano yun Ano? Ano daw yun? It's tobacco Ah, tobacco? Yes Oh, interesting Ano yung pala itsura ng tobacco? Oo, oh, oh. gusto mo kumuha? Nice Buang so, nasiraan po kami guys. Bigla. Si Cloud. Biglang niregla. Bart. <laughs> Mag-troubleshoot muna ako saan pala. Okay, go lang. Possible guys, yung battery yung problema. Diba Bart? Yes po, mahina na daw yung battery. May tumulong, sobrang bait. Ipapatry muna yung battery na sasakyan niya. Ililipat kay Bart. Tapos kapag gagana, so confirm, battery talaga yung problema. Yay, it's the battery confirmed. Currently, we are using the battery but ng sasakyan ni Jono. Tapos, bibili lang kami ng battery para isauli na namin sa kanya yung battery. Thank you so much! It's super duper thank you sa help. Maswerte pa rin pala talaga kami kasi si Jolo is mekaniko. Si Kuya Pulis, ayun, tumawag ng tulong. Ito tinawag niya si Kuya Jolo na mekaniko. Ah, okay. Bumibili na sila ng battery. Kasama to sa adventure, guys. Isasama namin kayo sa hirap at ginhawa. Sobrang babait ng mga tao dito sa Ilocos. Like, super duper thank you. Kaya maraming salamat po sa lahat ng tumulong sa amin. Problem solved, guys! Thank you so much, Rijolo! Thank you, thank you! Like, super duper duper thank you! And we're we'll process na kami ng entry pass ni Bart. Nandito na kami, guys, sa Ilocos Norte Tourist Triage. And we will process our entry pass. Ang ipapakita lang namin is vaccination card and valid IDs. And also, the paper na binigay sa amin dun sa border ng Ilocos Norte, this paper. We will just show it to them together with the IDs and the vaccination cards. We need to fill this out. So we got our tourist vehicle pass. We also have our tourist green card. Ready, let's go. Gutom na ako guys. Gutom na, gutom na, gutom na, gutom na, gutom na. Si Cloud kasi. Pero kailang, okay lab-lab ko naman siya. Lab namin si Cloud. Marami na kaming napagdaanan. Kaya tuloy ang hamon sa laban ng buhay. We have Abby guys. At siya yung magtutour sa amin today. Magtutour ba si Abby? <laughs> Sasamahan niya kami today. First stop, saan tayo Abby? Analinda's place for the food. Okay, kakain muna kasi sobrang gutom na kami. At my back is the famous Pa White Church here in Ilocos Norte, guys. Of course, we don't want to miss the Pa White Church. And by the way, we are eating here Sulit Pinoy Spam American Meals. And we're just gonna take a couple of photos sa church kasi the food will arrive for about 15 to 20 minutes. So we're just gonna make the most of our time here while waiting for the food. Time to eat kasi sobrang gutom na namin. We ordered pinakbet. Yung pinakbet nila, meron siyang baguong. Ang bango. Gusto ko na siyang kainin. We also ordered bagnet with KBL, kamatis, baguong, and lasuna. Sobrang sarap ng food, guys. Everything. The Puki Puki is a very famous dish here sa Ilocos Norte, guys. So it's a smashed eggplant with kamatis and eggs. Ang sarap! So far, ito yung mga expenses namin. So kanina, for our late lunch, ang nabayaran namin is 850 pesos. It's almost like expensive, pero it's worth it naman. Ang serving nila, sobrang dami guys. So far, yung nagastos namin sa toll is roughly, estimation lang to guys, is around 800 pesos. Sa gas, nagpagas si Bards kanina at ang nagastos namin is 3,100. We are now heading sa Alta Vista kung saan kami magsistay overnight and we paid for 2,373 pesos and 75 Cents. It's located in Pagudpod, Ilocos. Kasi yung plano namin is from Pagudpod. Tapos, papuntang vegan na yung plano namin. And kanina, gumastos kami ng 6,300 for the battery. 
Pero this is not gonna be ano na lang siya, Shut parang up. miscellaneous na lang siya. Hindi siya kasama with the trip. It's better talaga guys to bring extra money. Usually pag nato travel kami is ako yung nagbabayad muna lahat. I track all of the expenses and then after noon iko complete namin and then half kami with the gas. Siya lahat, di bring ata. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Daling ka usap pa. <laughs> Sige, ikaw na man nagde-drive. Hindi bard so oy, sa pakin kita 7030, 7030. Okay, Next up over kami guys kasi sobrang ganda ng beach. Ito kita na bit sa inyo. Harapan na namin yung windmills, guys. Sobrang laki. We are finally here sa Pagudpod. We are heading to the mini Batanes of Ilocos Norte, guys. So it's located here in Pagudpod, Ilocos Norte. So from Pauay, it's like almost two hours drive. Parang buong araw po kami sa daan ngayon. Natunto namin yung mini Batanes, pero sobrang steep ng daan. So you have to be very careful. Ayun na. Ito ba? Excited yung bata. Ay! OMG. Careful lang. Sobrang ganda ng place. Oh my God. Pero sobrang steep. Sobrang ganda dito! Look at that! Sobrang... As in, sobrang ganda. I don't know if you can hear me. Sobrang lakas ang hangin. This is how I imagined Batanes. Kaya sabihin nila mini Batanes, but I feel like I am in Batanes! Oh my God! <laughs> sobrang worth it dito, guys. Sobrang! So, just to give you an idea, si Cloud nandun. Climbed up the hill, papunta dito. And, dito na side ng doon yung mga windmills. Sobrang ganda! Good morning guys! Today is day 2 here in Ilocos Norte. It's already 6 a.m. I wasn't able to update you yesterday or last night when we got here sa hotel kasi sobrang pagod na namin ni Bards. So we are staying here at Alta Vista. Pupunta kami ulit doon sa Mini Batanes kasi gusto namin makita how it looks like kung umaga na. Medyo umuulan! Oh my God! Yung hangin, sobrang lakas! By the way guys, kung makikita nyo na to, ibig sabihin malapit na kayo. Ito yung Little Batanes. Dito yung daanan. As what you can see, papunta na dun sa bar. So ayan, nabent siya na railing. Pasok tayo dito. And dun kami aakyat guys. So approximately, it will just take you mga 3 to 5 minutes for you to get there. Alam nyo ba na injured si Bards kahapon kasi na slide siya. So you have to be very careful. <laughs> Uy, nagdala pa talaga siya ng tripod. Ang... Sige, kapag nadulas ka, anong pang ano mo? Tripod. Ang po sa'yo? Tingnan niya po, hey, hey, yung injury ng Lance Bernard. Wow, what is there? <laughs> we are on top of the world! Joke. <laughs> Ana, we're on top of a hill lang pala. <laughs> and this is what it looks like in the morning. Wow! Sobrang ganda! <laughs> I'm on the edge of the new Run. 
maganda. Maganda ka. Charing. Sigaw na. <laughs> Ang ganda ko. <laughs> Dinadala po kami ng hangin. <laughs> Nakapag check out na kami guys and we are heading to our second destination of the day and that's gonna be the Patapat Bridge or Viaduct. And the reason why it's famous is number one because of its view and number two knowing that you're already on the northernmost tip of Luzon Island in the Philippines. It's something. And I also discovered the reason why it was built or constructed. It's because to solve the problems in terms of the landslide. The Patapat Bridge or Viaduct is still located here in Pagodpod, Ilocos Norte. Here, roughly, it's about 30 minutes away from our hotel, which is the Alta Vista. Nakalimutan ko palang i-share guys, yung nagastos namin na dinner kahapon is 616 pesos. And for breakfast earlier, free na siya. Kasi yung accommodation namin is with breakfast na din. So far, yung expenses namin is 7,739 pesos and 75 cents. Behind me is the Patapat Bridge or Patapat Viaduct. You can hear the crashing of the waves. Ngayon guys, ay naglalakad kami ni Bart sa northernmost tip of Luzon Island. We took you to Patapat Bridge or Patapat Viaduct. Now, it's time to visit the very famous windmills here in Ilocos, guys. Unfortunately, the Borgos Wind Farm Adventure Park is closed, guys. So, we are currently looking for a different wind farm. May tinuro sa amin yung local dito, kaya pupuntahan namin ni Barts. We are here sa Kapurpura One Rock Formation, guys. Meron din tong view sa mga windmills. That's the Kapurpura One Rock Formation. And we will walk going there. There's an option naman na mag horse back riding. Pero mas gusto namin ng adventure kaya maglalakad kami ni Barts. Actually, nagtitipid kami. <laughs> Look at the rock formation at the back. Ang ganda. You'll visit Ilocos Norte. Isama nyo to sa itinerary nyo guys. We're going to our next destination, guys, and it's Cape Bojador or Cape Bojador or Cape Bojador. <laughs> Hindi namin alam mo na how to properly pronounce it, pero it's a lighthouse. Apparently, there's another term or name for the lighthouse, and it's so easy to pronounce. It's called Burgos Lighthouse. And just to give you a little background about the lighthouse, it was built during the Spanish colonial period in the Philippines, and it guided many Spanish galleons along Ilocos Norte's rocky coastline. Bawal nang pumasok ang sasakyan sa loob, so mag-tricycle ka. Many bards pa ng lighthouse. We paid 10 pesos each para sa tricycle. So, total of 20 pesos. Papunta pa lang yan sa pagbalik. Another 20 pesos for the both of us. At kailangang umakyat papuntang lighthouse. At my back is Ilocos Norte's coastline. Look at that. There is an entrance fee of 10 pesos each. I asked the locals here and it's pronounced Cape Bojador. Ang tanda na pala ng lighthouse na to guys. It was built ng 1890s pa. Almost 200 years, right? Ito yung stairs papuntang lighthouse, papasok ng lighthouse guys. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to go upstairs kasi hindi na safe yung hagdan. And also, high voltage asya. We are finally here sa Lawags and we will be staying here overnight for our accommodation. We booked an overnight stay dito sa the guest house Lawag and we only paid 770 pesos. Mura lang siya. And we will just freshen up and then pupunta na kami sa next destination namin. Nandito kami ngayon sa Kulili Point, guys. Together with Abby. Hi! Hello! So, ito siya sa mga admin ng The Pilot Project. And ngayon, magsa-sunboarding na kami.
din kami. Yan yung slope. I'm excited kasi nung nasa Dubai ako, hindi ko na-try ito. Now, I'll get to try it. Aakyat kami sa Burul, guys. Para mag-nuot ng sunset. Guys, I want you to look at the sunset. Look at Hi, Bard! Hi! <laughs> Ganda na sunset, no? Yeah. Mas maganda ka. Charot! Sakto, guys. Pagpunta namin dito is yun din yung paglubog talaga ng sun. Sobrang, as in, sobrang ganda ng sunset. Good morning! Another day here in Ilocos Norte. And today is our third day, the last day. Pa-uwi na kami. But before we will head home, is meron kami mga tourist spots na dadaanan. I forgot to update you last night kasi sobrang pagod na right after the sand dunes. And yung nabayaran namin was a total of 2,000 pesos. And for that package, kasama na din yung sandboarding. And unlimited yung sandboarding, guys. And good thing kami lang yung turista during that time kasi pabalik balik kami. It was so fun. It was so nice. We ended it with a sunset. Heads up lang. Sasakit talaga katawan mo but it's part of the adventure. Hindi kami nakapag-lunch kahapon guys. So, hindi ko wala akong lunch na matatali for our expenses. Okay, so, yung mga dinala namin snacks from our groceries, yun lang kinain namin. And then for dinner, nil nilibre kami ni Abby. Nashock na lang kami. Bigla niyang binayaran. So, hindi din masasama yung dinner for our expenses. And later, I'm going to give you the total Tal na talaga kung magkano yung nagastos namin dito sa Ilocos Norte. Kung so, nandito na kami sa Malacanang of the North, guys, merong entrance fee na 10 pesos each. kami ngayon sa Camarin Cafe sa Paoay guys. Sobrang gutom na namin ni Bards. Hindi kami ng breakfast. We already ordered food at naghihintay na lang kami. Our bill for today's lunch is 885 kind of pricey, pero masarap naman yung pagkain. Busog na ang dalawang bata, kaya naman, ready na kaming bumiyahe papuntang vegan! Ngayon ko lang nalaman, dream destination pala yun ni Bard, so... Oo, oh, oh, yung when I was still college ata. After one hour and 30 minutes ride from Pauay, Ilocos Norte, guys, finally, we are here sa vegan. There is a specific street dito na sobrang sikat and that is Calle Crisologo. Yun yung pupuntahan natin. na lang gas namin guys. So we've decided na magpapagas ulit. Magpapagas daw kami ng 1,000 going home. Pero before we will head home, is dadaan muna kaming La Union. Finally guys, nandito na kami sa La Union and look at the sunset. Okay. 
Nasaan? Nasaan? Surrender! Sobrang ganda. Nakauwi na kami. It was a long day for us. So earlier, I finalized lahat ng mga expenses kanina. So as I was looking at it, medyo malaki yung gastos namin sa food. It's because mahilig kami talaga kumain. For three days and two nights sa Ilocos, guys, ang total na gastos namin is 15,994 pesos and 75 cents. So this is gonna be like the total of it just in case gusto mo pumunta ng Ilocos pero wala kayong private car then you can also follow Calls Vidal Travels guys they actually offer travel tours for Ilocos so just feel free to check their page I hope you'll get to explore Ilocos soon and I hope this vlog is helpful for you and I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog thank you so much for being with us all throughout the journey, all throughout the travel period, na nandun kami sa Ilocos, guys. I hope to see you, or we hope to see you on the next one. Bye!